in spirit and in truth. And we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your love. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. And we're not ashamed of him, Lord God, because you've invested him within the church. He is available to every believer, the baptism in the Holy Ghost. And so, Father, we thank you for that this day, Lord God, that we can have the fullness of God living inside of us, walking and talking inside of us, speaking through us and speaking to us. Lord, we just thank you for a wonderful day. Now, touch my fellow believers, my co-laborers in the gospel all over the world. Bless them, Lord God, with good health. Bless them with an established prayer life. Bless them to be willing to sacrifice and uh, fast and pray, Lord God, and stay in your presence and walk in your presence, carrying their, your presence wherever they go to a dying and lost world, Lord God, to those that grope in darkness. We thank you for the power of healing this morning, deliverance this morning. We thank you for demons being cast out. We thank you for limbs growing back, limbs being turned back to normal. We thank you for cleansing the leper, raising the dead, casting out demons like Jesus said. We just thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost working through believers. And Lord, we are believers of the word of the living God, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So Father, we thank you for life today. We pray for our unsaved loved ones. We pray that you save them today. Work a miracle, Lord God, and prick their hearts that they might cry out, men and brethren, what must I do to be saved? And for those that we know that have given their life to the Lord, but they've faded back, they've gone back into darkness, to fellowship with darkness, Lord, it just won't work. Light and darkness cannot commune together. They cannot fellowship together. Can two walk together except they be agreed? No, 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 no. They're unequally yoked. So, Father, you're married to the backslider. So we bring them back right now by faith. We speak a word to him that is weary in due season. And the name, give us the tongue of the learned, Lord God, that we would know what to speak and when to speak in the name of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says be slow to speak, slow to wrath, and quick to hear. So, Father, we're listening right now. We give you our listening ear that we might know how to minister to other peoples that are lost and those that need to be revived again. Father, we thank you for boldness this day. We thank you for walking in the love of God this day because boldness comes out of the true love of God. Because we love people, we tell them the truth in love. So, Father, we thank you for loving us before the foundation of the world. For God so loved the world that he gave and he's still giving unto his people. And he's even blessing the unjust. He reigns on the unjust as well as the just. So, Father, we thank you for this wonderful, wonderful morning. It's a glorious morning. It's a hallelujah morning. It is the day that the Lord hath made. We're going to rejoice, oh, glory to God, and be glad in it. Father, visit the elderly this morning in the name of Jesus Christ in their homes, in their convalescent homes, in senior citizen buildings, Lord God. The word of God is not bound. That means that the word can travel no matter how far it may be. David said, your word runneth very swiftly. So we thank you for the swiftness of the word of God. Speak the word only and my servant shall be made whole. The Bible says he sent forth the word and healed them. So Father, we thank you for your deliverance, healing and filling in this day. In Jesus' name, amen.